Hello, this is David Harper of the Bionic Turtle with a brief tutorial on the standard error of estimate. This is a measure that we use in linear regression. And I'm going to show you how to use it by with an actual linear regression analysis. So I just pulled stock price returns for Yahoo and Google. So this is a scatter plot that compares on the x-axis. I have Yahoo's monthly stock price returns for the last three years and on the y-axis I have Google's monthly stock price returns for the last three years so I plotted that X against y-axis to see if there's a correlation the first step in the linear regression analysis is to look at the correlation and as I look at the scatter plot I think it's visually confirms that there is at least some linear relationship between the two variables so I'll go to the next page and here's the data. I have the monthly dates and then the price closes for Yahoo and Google. And then I calculated periodic returns for Yahoo and Google. So for example, for the month of December, Yahoo lost 20% and Google lost 23%. So that's the data for my scatter plot. I do have three years or 36 months. I just collapsed that the rows in between to make this more manageable. So if I go back to the scatter plot, again we've got Yahoo versus Google price returns. I can then ask Excel to, to perform the linear regression analysis, in this case an ordinary least squared analysis. It gives me the line and I can also get the equation that goes along with it. In this case Y is the dependent variable or the predicted Yahoo return given X the independent variable the Google's price return so we have Y is a function of the slope 0.6195 is the slope of the line multiplied by X is again the independent variable plus the intercept in this case 0.0392 that's where the linear regression intercepts the y line, the the y axis right about here i can also get automatically the r squared or also known as the coefficient of determination it's about 32% so i i have a decent uh linear i have a decent line here and now what about the standard error of the estimate? So here's the formula for it. What it is is like the R squared or coefficient of determination, these are both measures that tell us something about the fit of the line to the data. Now the formula is given here, standard error of the estimate is the square root of the squared error terms, the sum of the squared error terms divided by n minus 2. What it means visually is now I'm going to go to the scatter plot and pick out a point. Let's say this point right here. This is an actual Y. As opposed to if we went down to the regression line and hit the regression line here, that would be the Y that is predicted by the regression. So we can call that a predicted Y because if we input into the regression formula here, this, this function, if we input this X here, we would get something on the line. But the actual Y is up here. So the difference between the actual Y and the predicted Y is the error or residual. The standard error of the estimate is basically the standard deviation of that error term. So it tells us about the dispersion of these actual Y's from the line. And if we look at the formula, it's very much like a standard deviation formula. What it's doing in the numerator is it's summing the squared error terms. So it's taking, if I take this actual y, if I take the distance here, this error is the distance. If I square it, add it to this squared distance, add it to this squared different distance. If I sum all of those up, and then I divide by n minus 2, That's I'm almost taking an average. That's really like a variance calculation. I take the square root of that for the standard deviation. But if that's too confusing, again, just remember the standard error of the estimate is really that standard deviation of this
distance here, this error, so it's a measure of dispersion. If you imagined all the points on the line perfectly, which is unrealistic, there would be no dispersion and we would have a zero for the standard error of the estimate. The greater this dispersion, these points from the line, the higher the standard error of the estimate. So if I go back to the data, what I added down here at the bottom first is the Excel's intercept calculation. So that takes two ranges. First, the Google, the Y series, which is Google, comma, the X series, which is Yahoo. So that gives me the intercept. Then I calculated the slope, which again takes two series. First, the Y series, and then comma, the X series. So that gives me the slope automatically. And finally, the standard error of the estimate takes the same parameters. It take it only requires the two series or arrays. So it's the function equals STEYX. And it starts with the Y series, in this case Google, comma the X series Yahoo. And I get 8.6%. If I go back to the scatter plot, what that means is the standard deviation of these actual points to the line, again think about that as a vertical distance, is about 8.6%. So as I go along the line here, and if I just imagine stopping at a point, I can go out one standard deviation by going up 8.6% and down 8.6%, and I've got about one standard deviation, and I'm going to get about two-thirds of the point there, two-thirds of the actual points within that standard deviation. So that is the way to look at this as the measure of dispersion, actual-wise from predicted-wise. And just to show you, I could have manually calculated that. I added this column here, column K, where I basically just calculated the regression, the predicted Y. I, I take the intercept plus the slope times the x value, in this case Yahoo, and I get the predicted y. So these points are all points along that red line. And then I took the difference between the predicted y here and the actual Google return, the actual y, and I squared that difference. So that's the squared error. Then I summed the squared errors here that's just the sum of all the squared errors. And then I took the square root of this fraction here, the sum of squared errors divided by n minus 2. I had 36 months, so in this case that's 34. But basically all I've done is implement this formula whoops, here. And you can see I get 0.08 five five three two which matches the built-in function so that just to show you that is the manual equivalent where all I've done is implement this blue formula here the standard error of the estimate is the square root of the squared errors the sum of the squared errors divided by n minus two and back to the scatter plot again it's the standard deviation of these at the dispersion of actual y observations from the predicted y as predicted by the linear regression equation. So that hopefully explains the standard error of the estimate. This is David Harper of the Bionic Turtle. Thank you for your time.